Okay, Paul, so tell us a little bit about this station. Um, what makes this station different from other stations in, in Vancouver or parts of Canada? Well, first off, this is the world's largest hydrogen fuel station for transportation purposes. It's a uh, record breaker by several orders of magnitude. It's capable of delivering 1,000 kilograms of hydrogen a day, which is more than enough for the fleet that we have here. It's, uh, as you can see, it's made up of two tanks. They're uh, both uh, double wall, vacuum sealed liquid hydrogen tanks. The fuel inside there is 250 degrees below zero. Um, there's various compressors and control lines that you can see around here and the control station over the other end. And it all goes through piping underground into the fueling bay over there where we bring our buses in for fueling. A couple other neat features about this station is uh, that liquid hydrogen tends to boil off and a lot of stations just let that boil off uh, escape into the atmosphere when uh, you're not fueling. This station captures all boil off and compresses it into some compressed tanks on the other side of the station so that you can utilize that wasted gas, which uh, increases our efficiency quite a bit. How many fuel cell buses are you fueling per day? We can do 20 buses in a row. We can do our entire fleet. That was one of our main um, specifications for the station, so we wanted to be able to fuel when we want to. So we can do 20 buses, and uh, the goal is 10 minutes a bus for filling very close to achieving that goal. There's still some optimization to be done. And what type of hydrogen station is this? I, I know that there's different types out there. There's electrolysis station, there's steam reformation station. Yep. What type is this station? This is a, just a, a delivery station. The, the fuel inside the tanks is delivered by truck from Air Liquide and it is produced through electrolysis. So there is no production on site, it's merely a dispensing station. 